Hello Power BI developers, have you noticed new card visualization popping out everywhere with line chart and the gradient shadow effect that looks like this or this or this? I spent hours trying to find a good tutorial on YouTube, but they were all along or very complicated and in this video I will show you how to create this visualization very fast and very easy. It's way simpler than it looks like. Now let's dive in to Power BI Desktop. And here we are in Power BI Desktop. I will show you fastest and easiest way to build this new card visual with gradient line chart without any special knowledge of DAX functions or Power BI. It's very easy and let's start. So first thing that we are going to do is we will visit one website and from this website we will download code for this visualization. So that site is Kerry Kerry Colosco. You will recognize it. It has diamond as icon. Click on it. And now let's go to templates select svg templates scroll down, down down there it is click on it and this is the code you don't need to have any special dax knowledge like this lady has you'll just copy this in top right corner we have copy icon select it now let's go back to power bi desktop and let's create a new measure and just paste this and as you can see uh, here we have some errors marked with red line so we need to change these inputs so <clears throat> as you can see from this example we have only two inputs Not, nothing major nothing big deal we have one input is a date column and second input is measure that we want to present. So let's just change this with our date column. And copy paste in all other parts of this formula. And second input is measure we want to present and let's I have measured total revenue I think total revenue here it is copy paste it. so to summarize I have added here my date column you can use calendar table or you can use a uh, date from your fact table and I pasted uh, almost everywhere same details except this formula summarize needs to have table name in front of the column name and my table name is calendar so we have added everything no red lines so it means no errors press enter and close this now let's add total revenue okay so this is a normal card from visualization pane select new card with thunder here card new and now what we're going to do select format go to images turn on images under image type select image url under image url select conditional formatting here in this drop down menu select formula you have created okay and okay nothing has happened and this is most important part I think change size to 200 I will put it to 200 you can change it to any other size you want and as you can see I have now line chart but it's not good looking it's not uh, quite clear it's not like I showed you in the beginning reason for that is because I'm using date column that has too many data points so these lines shows us revenue for each day and therefore it's squeezed everything in this line smaller line chart 
what we are going to do is we are going to use only month and year so if you do not have month and year column you can create it let me show you so i have year and month column uh, i created by uh, combining month number adding one in middle and adding adding year on the end and format that as a date or you can just uh, create it by using month column put date in brackets uh, combined with number one this one uh, will represent day uh, then add year function and in brackets add date and you will get same results as I have here so let's go back to report and let's change this index that we have created let's just change uh, date column change it to year and month okay change everything to year and month instead of date and that's it no red lines no errors and here it is now you can apply some additional formatting here to get a better visualization and you can do that by adding accent bar click on card under format pane uh, go to accent bar turn it on click on drop down position left you can change it to down color let's choose blue color because our line is blue color and let's change with to fifth six this is good uh, additionally what we can do is to change background for this uh, visualization click on background under background image go to browse i have downloaded this revenue icon from platicon.com click on open and let's just change image fit to fit and let's add some transparency that's it i mean there, there is a bunch of stuff that you can do you can play around here in format pane and you can change line colors if you go to dax formula let's open dax and here in this variable variable devs uh colors are are defined so you have blue color it's same here blue color uh this is hex code you can find hex code of color you want on the internet on google just type it you have a bunch of tools you can change this code and uh, this is a circle that is on the end you can change it to any other color you need this is the circle i am referring to. and that's it if you like this video please make sure to subscribe and like thank you very much and goodbye